you know we love, I love fish. I mean, we love, I mean, you know, Trey. We've actually gotten to have dinner with Trey. Trey is, dude, that was one of the dopest dinners ever. One of the best nights of my life. Uncle Trey, Trey dude, the stories Trey, out of that man. cat. Dude, people have no idea what a big influence. Trey, what a genuine, generous, beaming light of a human Trey Anastasio is, man. That was so I much love fun. Trey. Yeah, dude. I would I would do anything for Trey, man. That and I only hung out with him once. And it wasn't even some like it was Actually, twice. I want to tell a story we about hung with him twice. Right, 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 right. What do I need to say? We just found this guy in the parking lot. He was like, hey man, is it cool if I sit in? We were like, well, let's hear you play a little bit first. The, the Trey Anastasio band and Wolfpack are out to dinner. Our friend Merlin threw a dinner for us. He's an amazing chef Dope is in, in the, the Denver game. area. Yeah. Merlin throws, Merlin gets an Airbnb for Wolfpack and the Trey Anastasio band to have dinner the night before we play Red Rocks. So we fly in early. We have this incredible meal. We're all getting to know each other, saying what's up. Some of us are friends already. We sit down at the table, and I didn't didn't occur to me that Trey was going to join. You know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Trey walks in, and it's like, I'm like, oh, my God. It's Trey. You know? And I'm like, okay, play it cool. You know? Because it's like childhood hero stuff. Yeah. Like, this is, I'm, I'm cool, right? Am I cool? We cool? And he says hey to everyone. He's like, hey, man. Uh, what's your name? Theo. He's like, oh, I'm Trey. I'm like, good to meet you, man. And I think I was like the last in line of, of the intros here or something. So he's like, so what So what have you guys been doing, man? Are you on tour? Is this a one-off? And I go like, ah, yeah, you know, playing a couple shows, you know. And I just gave him an out. And he's like, oh, yeah, where? Where have you, where, where, what's up, what's up with the tour? You know, what's going on? I'm like, ah, you know, West Coast. Another out. He's like, where? I'm like, ah, I was, you know, Portland. He's like, where? Crystal I'm Ballroom. Like, ah. <laughs> Crystal bar. He's like, oh man, is that the room of the bouncy floor? Yes, I'm like, yes. Dude, oh I man, he's, he's like, oh, I love that room. And he starts talking about the room and he's asking questions. And it was like, wow, this guy is. I can't get him out of this conversation, and I'm dude, trying was, yes. to, because I'm assuming he wants to leave because he's a celebrity. But no, he's the most. He's so interested. He wanted to Do know, you know where we were in the journey. He wanted to know how we were getting yes. through it. He was interested in the yes. details of. What rooms are you at? Are they fun for you? Are, is it still like this? Because I remember it like yes. this. Oh, like <laughs> talking about all this, the cars and the, yeah. just, he was talking about how they went from there to the van, to the bus, to the buses. Yeah. Dude, it was, you're, totally, you're absolutely man. right. He was so interested. Yes. And I, I have to say, this is a little woo woo perhaps, but like the thing that people feel flying off of fish is that. They share that thing. Like, and I also know Trey is a beacon of that. And call me crazy, but I found it not even, a, even though I was shocked initially, I started to realize like, oh, of course this is who Trey is. Well, how do we get fish? How do you explain fish? This is a phenomenon. What is this about? It's bigger than the music. And then you talk to the guy and it's like, oh, he's interested in the story. He's interested in the journey. He's interested in the love. He's interested in the energy, the connection. You know what I mean? It's like, no wonder this is the biggest independent band in the history of the world. I mean, yeah. what is fish is a massive thing. Dude, they're huge. And so, you know, I want I want people to know this because I think on your way up in the journey, you're like, how do I get to position X? You know, I'm looking, I'm talking to the most successful independent musician in the history of the human race, and it seems like actually being being an incredibly interested Genuine human is actually a big part of it. Dude, remember the you next know, and day we're at Soundcheck and he's like, hey, check out this guitar my, my college roommate made for me. I'm like, oh, you mean the Languidoc? And he's like, hey, I'm trying Dude. these new. Why don't you guys try these? I'm going to go stand in the stands, play through my new amp. I want to see how it sounds. And he goes up in the freaking stands and you and I are just ripping on his guitars through I, his rig. <laughs> bro, That that's probably, that's like the moment. Like if this, I'm kind of, we'll see what happens in the future, but that's, that's, that's enough for me. Like, that's my, like, you know what? I can say, like, yeah, I've played Trey's Languidoc through his dual Mesa Boogies dimed at Red on, Rocks. At Red Rocks, empty. <laughs> like, Dude. I know, I know what that sounds like. It's like, whoa. And he's yelling, man. he's yelling from the, from the front house. Yeah. He's like, hit the, hit the tube screamer. 
Hit the tomb screamer. Yeah. <laughs> and then every single note sustains like to peaks, and it's like, whoa, the way he plays with sustain. And then I remember when he handed me his car, guitar, and I was like, is that is that really cool, man? He's like, oh yeah, you play it. And I was like, man, you know that thing where you're like, this is this is one of those moments for me. It's like I don't know. It's like you know, what does Schofield's guitar feel like? You know what I mean? And he goes, oh yeah, I know, totally, man. And he hands me the guitar, and I play for a little bit, and he's like, oh yeah, man. And then he goes, by the way. I know what Schofield's guitar <laughs> feels like. Yes! Trey Anastasio, everybody, make sure you stick around to hear his set, okay? <laughs>